let's look at how to use dynamically allocated memory or dynamic memory to dynamically expand an array. So I'll start out with a couple, well, a pointer. So first I'm going to start out with this uh, int star array. So this is my array of integers, and I'm going to assign it the value of a null pointer so it just has something to start with. Next, I'm going to keep track of how big the array is. So I've got int count equals zero. And then lastly, right here, I'm going to have a number where you're adding numbers in. So the int num. And this way I can keep track of all the numbers you have. So the idea is you're going to be prompted for numbers. And then when you're done entering numbers, when you enter a zero, it'll stop. So let's go ahead and do a do while loop. And maybe before that, I'll have a statement. So enter integers and stop with zero. So not very clear, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then prompt for the number. So I'll do a, a CN and I'm going to put it into this num. And the idea is once you get to the very end, if num is not equal to zero, it will continue to loop around. So there we go. That's our basic loop right there. Now, what I want to do is right before I loop around, I want to display everything in the array. And we know there's going to be an array because we have at least one number here, at least the number zero. So I'll do a little for loop. So for uh, int i equals zero, i is less than count, i plus plus. And then inside of the array, I'm just going to well display all of the integers. So see out uh, array i and we'll put a little space afterwards just in case there is more than one. And then we can put in our uh, end line right here. All right. So now the real part. So this is the display, the array, and this is get the number. All right, now I want to dynamically resize or grow the array. So what do we do? Well, first of all, um, the array has nothing there. It's a null pointer, right? So it's, it's blank, empty array. So I'm going to do a little if statement here. If array equals null pointer, then we know it's an empty array. So what do we do? Well, we just want to allocate a new array. So we do array equals new int array of count so probably count but we actually haven't set the count yet so after we read a number we'll do count plus plus so at this point after the first number it should be a value of it goes from zero to one so at the very first time it hits this it should be a value of one all right now if a value of one that means there's space for really only one integer and because it was an old pointer before, we're fine. So we're going to say array. And we're going to use index of zero equals num. So we put it there. Now, if it's not an empty array, that means we've already gone through the loop once before, and this is a bigger array. So now we want to resize the array and dynamically grow the array. Well, how do we do that? Well, we need to create a new array and then move all of the numbers over. So we'll create a new array. So we'll do once again a new pointer. 
So int star array. But we're not going to do, maybe we'll do array two because let's make it a second one. Or array temp, let's call it array temp. So array temp equals, and what do we want? We want it to be a new array. So new int array of count size. Then, after we create our new array, the next thing we want to do is to copy all of the old values, or copy the old values. So how many are there? If the new array is size count, then the old array must be size count minus one. So we'll do a for loop right here. So for int i equals zero, i is less than count minus one, i plus plus. And we'll go through all of them from the previous one. And so we'll copy everything from the old array into this array temp. So do array temp i equals array i. And that will get them all copied over. Now, once they're copied over, the next thing we want to do is put the new integer in. So, array temp place, and this is not i, it's going to be count minus 1. So, if it's the size 2, then it's going to be putting it in position number 1, which is the second position. Right? So, that equals num. At this point, we have a new array array temp, which has all of the values we need into it. So what we can do is get rid of the old array. So do remove the old array. And so we do a delete. And we're doing this whole array right there, and it's gone. But we want to keep using the old array's name, array. So we do array equals new array. So actually it's not array, it's a array temp. There we go. So this takes the the array and if it is empty it creates a new array. If it is not empty it goes ahead and creates a temporary array and then it copies everything from the old array over, and then it deletes the old array, and then assigns the new array to the old array's name. We still have this array temp pointer that exists, but that array temp pointer will be deleted at the end of this little block of code right here, because it's local to this block of code only. We don't have to worry about deleting the new array, or the old array, I guess, because um, array temp isn't actually, it's pointing to the same thing the array is pointing to, and so the memory is, we're not losing memory here. We might want to, at some point at the end, delete the array. So we do a delete array to get rid of everything, and so we're all cleaned up. All right. so. If we, we run this code, it should prompt four numbers until we hit zero. And each time it's going to dynamically expand the array and then display the contents of the array until we hit zero. So let's go ahead and run this code. So I type in uh, two, three, uh, seventy-eight, thirty-two. 56, 12, 0, and then it finishes. So you can see that it is growing the array, and each time it's getting bigger, and it's just reallocating, recreating a new array. Ideally, if you were doing real coding, you wouldn't want to be rebuilding the array every time. You want it to grow to a certain size, kind of the expected growth size or what you need. And then when it starts getting close to the new size, you rebuild a new one and copy everything over. But you wouldn't copy it over regularly, just every time it needed to grow. And maybe you'd grow it exponentially, so maybe double the size each time it filled up or something like that. But this is how you dynamically grow arrays.